New tonight, a pause on uranium hauling across the Navajo Nation remains in effect. For about a week and a half now, Energy Fuels has not been hauling trucks of uranium ore from their mine in the South Grand Canyon to a mill in Utah. Now this comes after concerns were raised by the Navajo Nation and Governor Katie Hobbs stepped in to help. 12 News journalist Colleen Sikor reports on where things stand now. <laughs> Following a walk on the highway in Cameron, people gathering across northern Arizona and the Navajo Nation. Really, it's about people's health and the risk to our water, our environment. Wanting to see an end of hauling uranium across the nation from the Pinion Plain mine south of the Grand Canyon to a mill in Utah. We're not celebrating just yet because it is also only a temporary pause. And so it's not a 100% win. We need to shut down the mine 100%. Leona Morgan is the co-founder of activist group Hall No. Being in election year, it's hard to say if this pause will actually go for six months or how long the Navajo Nation needs to negotiate with energy fuels and if energy fuels will abide by the outcome of, of whatever agreements. Energy fuels began mining the uranium ore in December out of the roughly 14-acre Pinion Plain mine. Navajo Nation President Boo Nigren arguing they're not following the sovereign nation's law and argues the company didn't give notice that hauling began. In a previous statement to 12 News, Energy Fuels said they did give notice and said the company can legally restart transports at any time, but would be working to address any reasonable concerns. Attorney General Chris Mays meeting with Energy Fuels executives August 2nd, a spokesperson for Mays' office, telling 12 News in a statement Mays is expecting the company to negotiate with all stakeholders holders in good faith before further transportation of uranium. We are not sacrificing grounds. State Senator Teresa Hatathali, who is from the Navajo Nation, echoing concerns raised over uranium mines left not cleaned up on the nation and health impacts from uranium on the nation, noting her own father's health, who worked in a uranium mine. Because of the work schedule, the time and everything, he said a lot of times we didn't have the luxury to come out if we ran out of drinking water, we were told to drink the water down there. Hatathali says it wasn't until after he died her family was able to get compensated from the federal government for her father's exposure. The federal government only allotted him $50,000, which is nothing compared to the years that he suffered. Wanting to see the conversation change and action taken to protect indigenous people. I'm very glad that, that these... Um, Callings are uh, suspended, and I'm really hoping that there's a measure of accountability and that there's other safe avenues that are taken. Colleen Sakura, 12 News.